it's freezing outside, like really cold. And we can't do much, so we have Diablo, and Koi's gonna turn the camera around here, and um, he's gonna swim. So this is something I try to do all the time while I'm in Texas. And then, like a couple days before I run, he goes in that Nautilus. It's like a, a cold tank and it just keeps everything pretty tight. So, um, pretty boring day here, but let's watch Diablo swim. <laughs> Everyone knows all about my direction And in my heart somewhere, I wanna go there Still I don't go there Everybody says, say something, say something Say something, say something, say something, say something It is nasty outside, but we are here riding. Tiff's over there somewhere. And um, we are fixing to be fierce competitors and ride in the rain. Actually, in the indoor, but I don't know what's happening where you're at, but it is rained for two days. It's raining right now. But we have a load of horses. There's Tiff, Tiff, and Madonna. And we fix to make the best of it because we're trying to prepare not to get smoked down to the American next year. You going? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> I finally have got an indoor to ride in. Don't ex don't don't laugh at my stirrup link. <laughs> and if you're watching this, a certain someone, I have my boots on, not my tennis shoes. So I'm gonna try to explain kind of what Ron uh, went over in his lesson. And after watching Brandon Collins beat everyone's ass for the last three months. I think I figured it out. So, Ron's approach is kind of a square approach um, around the barrel, but Ron is really super big on if your horsemanship is good enough, doesn't matter what bridle you're in um, and all that. Ron is not one that wants to pick up on the inside rein approaching the barrel. He feels like it dumps all the weight on that shoulder and slows down the turn. So, what he had me do is Go two-handed. This is a little bit more squarey than I want it to be. And then go out of here. He, he had more of a boxy turn, but his idea in theory, what I took from it is, if you can get those horses here, then you have less chances of hitting that barrel. Um, if you watch Brandon and that cornerstone horse, which the cornerstone horse wants to turn anyways, so it probably makes it easier. But he rides that horse two-handed to this point. And when you do that, those horses can stand up straight in all four corners, and you have less likelihood of hitting the barrel. Now, before I went and rode with Ron, I had a tendency to want to sit right here, pick up, and try to, like you see how this mare's already rounded up. The issue is, is those horses naturally don't want to move forward um, off of the inside rein. Uh, so, he had me just trot up in here. And it's more of a square turn. he did 
did tell me is he's not he's not a lot on if you have a hitter to counter arc him. He wants to trot all the way up into this fence and then grab, kind of keep those horses straight forward. He also wants you to go up that fence and then back, back to where you were, whether it be over there, and go back up into this fence. Um, it's a little hard to explain in a way, but basically we have to ride two-handed further up into the turn. That's something I'm working on. Uh, I think it's helped Caviar a lot because she's so green so I can kind of keep her between me. So that's kind of what I learned. And um, I hope you guys enjoy your Friday.